Oh my god, what is wrong with him? Christmas withdrawal. It happens every year. Well, is he gonna snap out of it? Maybe with a little Christmas Bloody Mary. Come on, buddy. It's perfect for any Christmas hangover. It's blended fruit cake with just a hint of eggnog. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well maybe if we take him to the theater and show him some traditional Christmas movies. Good idea. You think we'll find a film about Christmas showing? Malcolm, no movies about Christmas come around this time of year. But you said Christmas movies. Oh, well I meant like a movie that comes out around Christmas, not about Christmas, oh. though. Like, we could take him to one of these true story movies. A bunch of those come out this time of year. Or how about one of these fantasy films? There's always a few of those playing, too. Yeah, actually, one of those ties into the category of people making musicals who shouldn't be making musicals musicals. As well as the expensive kids films nobody attempted to make good. Yes. We always do have the Oscar bait white guilt films. Now, what is that one? Oh, this year it's Selma, but before it was The Blind Side, 20 Years a Slave, Django. <gasps> no kidding. Yeah, I love those movies because the critic always takes me out to dinner afterwards. Oh, good job. Uh, what? Uh, oh, that's just the kid screening of the Care Bears Nutcracker. He don't want to see that. Uh, Dude, they're only playing it because it was cheap to get. Uh, oh, God, critic, are you seriously saying that you want to sit through a bunch of whiny brats so that you can watch something slightly Christmas related? So worth it. Nostalgia Critic Guy, remember it so you don't have to. All right, I've had my post-Christmas fix. It's time to move on to more serious stuff. Let's talk about Care Bears. After reviewing what I suppose is the Care Bears movie trilogy, a lot of people were complaining that there was one more film for me to look over, the Care Bears Nutcracker. In actuality, this was a one-hour episode of the TV series. That's why it opens up with the theme song and characters who don't appear in the special at all. This is actually kind of funny, because I can wonder what the poor people who never saw the show are thinking when they pop this DVD in. Who's that coming from Wait, why is there a little girl version of Doc Brown next to one of Gimli's hairballs? Wait, when did some of the Care Bears start wearing seriously dated clothes? Who the fuck is that guy? Did the wizard from Fantasia become a clansman recently? Nevertheless, in the spirit of post-Christmas depression, I suppose I can give in and still review this fuck horse. Let's finish off the Care Bear saga before we get into the stuff that gets... somehow weirder. The Grizzlator! Time for a game of disappearing brain cells. This is the Care Bear's Nutcracker. We open with a school production of, what else? The Nutcracker as apparently not all the performers are on board. You said it was gonna have a lot of fights and battles, and but there are a lot of fights and battles in the show. Some versions even have a holocaust if you're desperate enough. My favorite version of the story was told to me by some friends of mine, the Care Bears. We're gonna use this music in our show, cause it's public domain clear by the studio. We'll steal it as we please, slashing composer fees, although musically to visually, it really blows. Well, Hugs and Tugs, have you found your own special ornament? No, Braveheart. All the other Care Bears have special ornaments of their own, and so should we. This is our concern, dude. Can somebody help me? I've just spotted a little girl down on Earth through the Star Telescope. Her name is Anna, and she's really sad. What? But it's Christmas. Everybody should be happy. You know, don't the Care Bears have anything other than first world problems? Oh no, a little girl is sad! We should go help her right away! Uh, yeah, what about some of these ruthless dictators that have been slaughtering the innocent? Couldn't we maybe shift their emotions so they don't want to do that anymore? Uh, no, no, we mostly just deal with the white ones. Oh! Any particular reason? We're based off of greeting cards. Who else are we gonna appeal to? Grumpy! You're just the person I need! Why always me? So Funshine Bear takes Grumpy Bear to go with. Which I'm 
only now realizing how strange it is that he's a part of all this. Why is there a Care Bear named Grumpy? Isn't that kind of like going to a psychiatrist named Lunatic? <laughs> We're still gonna rip off these damn songs, we don't give a shit if you think it's wrong, you'll associate this tune with Care Bears. Now we know it's pretty lame as way to connect any of this to the damn ballet, but it shuts your kids up, so calm the fuck down. So after committing vehicle aside, I'm assuming it was alive, it did have a face, they fall down the chimney of the girl they're supposed to help. Thanks, Grumpy. Why are you all black? Cause I like to be all black. Well, you and most white suburban teenagers. So they go into the room of our sad girl named Anna. And is it me, or do the Care Bears have the habit of helping the exact same looking type of girl every single time? There really is some prejudice bullshit going on here. Ma'am, we have another sad little girl on the corner Does she have blonde hair and blue eyes? I don't know what that has to do with anything. Answer I... the question. Well, no, she's a brunette with green eyes. Not interested. But she's threatening others with a machete. Away with you! One day, my Fuhrer, we will build the master race. Wir mussten als Partei! But as luck would friggin' have it, Anna's house is the exact same random location of a portal to another world. It happens! Usually with Care Bears in the house! So they come across a Nutcracker, who should clearly be called the Voice Cracker due to his puberty pipes. I can't remember my name! I've even lost my arm! Thanks for straightening me out! If only I was built with testicles so they would drop! as he's soon followed by some rodent baddies, led by the Rat King. If only. No, the only thing this guy would be the king of is being the villain in a fast food commercial. They're getting away! Stop them! Look out! It's the Rat King! He ruins Happy Meals! <laughs> Run! A coat! Wait, what? Nutcracker? So her brother, named Peter, gets involved as the Care Bears try to use peaceful talks to calm down the rat- Nah, <laughs> just kidding, they beat the shit out of him. Those flowers won't hold them for long! Only here and in my pot-induced dreams will that ever make sense. But the Nutcracker suddenly gets back part of his memory. They work for the evil vizier who's trying to control all of Toyland! Yippee! Yay, slavery! So after escaping the scene on the stairs, they go back to having another scene on the stairs. What, just an expensive location you want to get your money's worth? Let me through! Rainbow, yeah. you speak it, motherfucker! Ah. Hey, how'd I get to the top of the stairs all of a sudden? Should've paid your background artist more. Care Bear Stare! <gasps> oh. Okay, so the Care Bear Stair has a lot more power than I gave it credit for. Apparently it can also open up doorways to other dimensions and send bad guys back through it. I have a radical idea. If the door swings both ways, we could reverse the particle flow through the gate. How? The Care Bear Stair. I love this plan! I'm excited to be a part of it! So it's explained that the Rat King works for the evil Vasir, who has taken over Toyland and thus the Care Bears need back up in order to save it. It's Funshine and Grumpy's distress signal. Signal? Oh, Care Bears, they got it. <sighs> so the rest of the gang arrive to help. Tender heart and brave heart lion. And lots of heart elephant. Each sold separately. Hugs and tugs? Aw, oh, man. Even people who like this show can't stand you two. I think they better stay here with Peter. So Peter is left behind to babysit them, but Hugs and Tugs seem to be quite the little worm tongues. We're supposed to stay here, remember? But think of all the special Christmas tree ornaments we could find there. Okay, kids, I don't know what your weird ornament fetish is all about, but it's clearly not worth death. Actually, yes it is. Happy hunting! Wave to anyone that looks dangerous! Have you considered wearing these jackets? This story is really great! Thank you, Holly. But don't we have some rehearsing to do? The rest of the evening will be Care Bears related. But I have to go home in five minutes! No, you don't. You're with me now. So the Fasir is trying to get information from the captured Sugar Plum Fairy about the location of the hidden magic ring that'll give him uncontrollable power. And 
Again, is it me or does this character look exactly like the previous villain they had in the last Care Bears movie? Are the designers of these specials literally given no time to draw new characters? We need a new Care Bears villain in 20 seconds! Uh... It's not very good. I don't care! So the Care Bears find the pussiest train they can, with the cubs hopping aboard as well. The Fasir watches in dismay. Your little wooden friend is doomed! And so is Toyland! And Christmas! Honestly, I'm starting to get the idea they just took the first take with every line on this guy. And so is Toyland! And Christmas! <laughs> okay, mm, good vocal warm-up. Now let's do a real take. Oh, uh, we got it. We're good. But that was the equivalent of me clearing my throat. No, 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 we're good. You do realize I want to be hired by other people after this, don't you? I don't you? care! some of the treats of Toyland without even taking the wrappers off. I don't give a shit. As they ride through various enchanted locations, many of them spelled wrong, and continue to look around their unfinished Mario Kart levels. Attack! Attack! And welcome to an early preview of your nightmares tonight. It's like if cereal mascots were drawn with rat poison instead of ink. My particular favorite is this clown with horns on his head. Who would do that? We weren't attacking you. We just wanted your train. There's a difference? Well, no. But if you were smart, you'd do what my friends and I are trying to do. Yeah, Get but... Get out of Toyland. Yeah, but... But we're here to save Toyland. Yeah, but... I'm sorry. Why does he still have the horns on his head? We realize now these were innocent creatures who were beat up and such, but what innocent creatures have horns on their head? I mean, okay, I'm not anti-horn, but... No, fuck people's sensibilities. I'm anti-horn. Who the fuck's gonna have horns on their head? That's gonna be offended. Oh, honey, you won't believe what the nostalgia critics said about us. Son of a bitch! Who did this to you? It's a long story. Well, we have all the time you need. Actually, you don't. Whether it's saving Toyland or finally wrapping up to do some fucking ballet rehearsing, time is not something you have an abundance of here. The day when the vizier and his army of rats overthrew the Prince of Toyland... What happened to the prince? No one knows for sure. Some say he was killed in a big fight with the vizier. Uh, yeah. I really wonder who the fuck the prince is. With that incredibly not distinct design, I suppose it could be anyone. I mean, Jesus Christ, you showed him right there! You even forgot to animate him as a human instead of a nutcracker! It's not really much of a twist if you spotlight what the twist is going to be. Toyland Castle is surrounded by an army of rats! Then just follow me! Whoa! Oof. <laughs> Some leader. He can't even stand on his own two feet. <laughs> ha 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 ha! You look ridiculous! Keep laughing at him, gingerbread men and injured clowns! He looks so stupid! So while they head closer to the castle, the Rat King's army gets ready to attack with... Okay, who smoked one? Attack! Grab the Nutcracker! Guys, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but we're about to be pogo to death! As a side note, it's weird that my spell check recognized that as a word. Boy, the Care Bears don't use as much caring in this one as much as vengeful violence. Yeah, that peaceful, friendly smile does great at pummeling your enemies into submission. For that matter, why does the elephant have a cowbell on his stomach? I don't see the connection. Peter, along with Hugs and Tugs, gets captured and thrown in a jail cell. What are we going to do, Tugs? I don't know, Hugs. We'll never find our own special Christmas ornament in here. Oh, for fuck's sake, what is your obsession with this goddamn Christmas ornament? They're gonna cut off your balls or do God knows what to you! Rat King, destroy the bear cubs. We'll never get our ornament now! You heard that though too, right? That, that, that was weird. But the rest of them eventually get to a boat in which Grumpy is the only one rowing. Why does this universe hate him so much? Until they reach the castle and split up. Ah! 
Well, that was pointless, but gave us great filler for the music. Hey, something has to remind us this was based on something good. Meanwhile, the kids try to figure out a way to escape. Well, everyone is scared of the dark sometime. I'll bet even you. Me? Ha! I've spent my whole life in the dark. I was born in the dark. They trick him into getting locked inside as the others find the Sugar Plum Fairy and ask her where the ring is. A walnut? You mean the ring was in that walnut all along? What a clever idea! Uh, the thought occurs to me that the fairy can fly, so this is all kind of pointless. I mean, what if we were to fall, the nut flies out of our hands into the Fasir's hands who grabs the fairy, covers us in taffy, and you know I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> You are the cause of this. Or have you forgotten? I have my own nutcracker now. Open it. Put my nut in your mouth and bite hard. I don't give a shit how that sounds. I'm in a Care Bear movie. So he starts to turn his friends to wood until he finally agrees to open the nut. He'll get his ring. No, nutcracker. Don't give in. What about Toyland? What about Christmas? No, really. What about Christmas? How does this in any way affect Christmas? Even if they die, I think Jesus is still born. This comes much to the Fasir's very strangely delivered delight. Ah! <laughs> I won, as I knew I would! Are you sure you don't want me to do another take? Are you listening to your iPod? So the Nutcracker opens the nut, in a way that has nothing to do with how nutcrackers open nuts, and the fairy puts it on his finger, turning him back into a boy. He's the prince. Oh, whoa, I, shit. No, Toyland is mine. I'll never give it up. <laughs> oh, damn weird reverse beam powers. Your reign is over, Vizier. And now, as Prince of Toyland, I command the Vizier's spell over the land to be gone forever! So, if the ring could do all this the whole time, why the hell did they hide it in the first place? Wouldn't it make more sense to use its power so that the Vizier didn't take over Toyland? No, no, it's cool. We're just gonna wait for all the people to be enslaved, beaten, and tortured to death before we play our big trump card. It seems stupider that way. Anna, meet our new neighbor. Alan. I'll be going this way. Alan Prince. Hello, Anna. H hello Alan. So, this was all a wet dream just about our next door neighbor? Were the Care Bears just a metaphor for losing your childhood innocence? And from that day forward, Anna and Alan remain the best of friends. Hello there! Are you almost ready? Oh, I'll be right with you, Alan. <gasps> Goodbye, children, and have a Merry Christmas. I'll just leave you kids unsupervised to put on this show we're apparently never going to perform. Oh, and by the way, the Care Bears were also real and yet a dream somehow. Wrap your stupid little minds around that one. And that was the Care Bears Nutcracker. Can I finally stop with these? It is what it is, a stupid but harmless special for little, 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 little kids. But that still doesn't mean it isn't paced horribly or awkwardly done. It's still clumsy and lacking any imagination, but again, what did you expect? It's Care Bears. It's at best a passable distraction for your little kids. Anything else about it is pretty much just a waste of time. And if there are any more goddamn Care Bear sequels to look at, Put simply, I don't care. So thanks for joining me throughout December. I hope you enjoyed it and, wait a minute, next month's January. You know what that means? Matrix Month!
one as I knew I would.